Describe the use of electrolysis in electroplating. Well, here's my electrolysis setup. Uh, normally, you'd have something metallic to be electroplated, but I'm going to electroplate Professor Avogadro today. Gold chloride solution, uh, dilute, is what my electrolyte's going to be. Now, this is a bit of an oversimplification, and the IB also oversimplifies it. So this is, this is uh, what you need to know. Don't think that this is lacking in any way. There are four ions in gold chloride solution. The gold three plus ion is attracted to the negative electrode, plusy cat, that's a cat ion, gold three plus. Now the negative electrode is full of electrons, that's why it's negative. And what's gonna happen uh, is the gold three plus ion, when it's attracted to that electrode, is gonna pick up three electrons. Now why not hydrogen? Well, you'll find out a bit later, but the lowest on the Standard electrode potential list is discharged, and gold is lower than hydrogen. There's the equation for the aqueous gold ions turning into solid gold, and that's reduction. Reduction is gain of electrons. Let's just move these equations up a little. So what about the negative ions? Well, you should remember this series that works for dilute negative ions, anions, and so OH- is present, and that's going to produce O2. If you can't remember the equation, look it up in the data booklet. In a more classically IB example, they talk about electroplating a spoon. And normally, they try to silver plate it. Now, I've tried this before. It doesn't work. It, the silver falls off, and the silver looks black because it makes silver nanoparticles. But we're pretend that that doesn't happen. So I have my inert electrode as the positive electrode, probably graphite. And what I want to electroplate must be the negative electrode. Silver nitrate is a good choice of electrolyte. It dissolves in water, producing those four ions. Now looking at the positive ions, which is lower on the standard electropotential list, that will be preferentially discharged. So the silver is going to be coated onto the spoon. Well, let's back up a bit. Let's look at this list here. So let me highlight. Oh, I, I put a gap there because it wouldn't all fit otherwise. So there's silver and there's hydrogen. So the lower on the list is preferentially discharged. So that's got the highest E cell, if you will. Preferentially discharged means that that's the... Uh, the iron that turns into the atom. It's the one that actually plates on, which is silver. Okay, let me remove the hydrogen now because that isn't going to electroplate on. The equation is also a reduction. Aqueous silver ions turns into solid silver. Now what about the anions? Well, that's not in the IB, because there's no nitrate needed. So we can't really judge. So here we are in the game Portal, a game I don't like, and I know that that's heresy. And I just want to get through this darn door. But I don't seem to be able to, be able to press both buttons at the same time. Dr. Atkinson, come down and help me. He refuses. I'll get him down. I have my gold plating gun. Let's put him up on this little button here. So why would you want a gold plate? Well, I want a gold plate so I can get through this door. But the reasons that you probably need to know are if you were to gold plate something, it would perhaps conduct electricity a little better, like headphone jacks. Uh, if you were going to chromium plate something, that makes it a lot less... Oh, there's a box up there. If you were to chromium plate something, it makes it look nicer to the eye and it's less easy to corrode. That's why they do it to bumpers and frames of motorbikes and things. Ah, oh, there's some gold-plated zombies there. Only partially gold-plated. Let me get my Midas gun and finish it off. <laughs> silver plating is also used because it looks nice. But it's a bit of a pain to clean silver because it's a little bit reactive. 